researching and picking a profitable niche. Hey there everyone, are you ready to get started? Because this lesson is all about the first steps that you have to take before you go on to YouTube. That's right friends, there's homework to do before you go upload your first business video. But don't worry, it'll only take a bit of your time and will help you stay in line once you start doing YouTube business. This first step is to research and find a profitable niche to build your YouTube business. A niche is simply the category of product or service that you want to promote and sell. So let's suppose that you are familiar with healthy living and medical stuff and you want to dedicate your business to that. That's a good starting point. Now you have to select your niche by narrowing down the exact type of healthy living stuff that you want to promote. That will be your niche. Let's also suppose that you are not sure what to promote yet and that you don't know where to start. In this case, you have to start by learning where to find top selling niches, how to identify one, and then pick one. This guide will help you regardless of your situation, so let's do it from the beginning. Step number one researching and picking a niche on top online marketplaces. You don't have to try your luck by promoting random offers to see if a niche is profitable or not. You can find this information easily simply by looking at top selling categories in popular online marketplaces. While there are a ton of marketplaces you can do your research around, including Amazon, we have found the ones that make it easier to research, find and pick a niche. These are ClickBank and JVZoo. So let's how easy it is to do it. On ClickBank, start by visiting ClickBank.com. You'll have an idea of what type of products and niches perform well by checking the featured offers on the home page. But the best way to find the best niches is to go to the marketplace by clicking on the affiliate marketplace tab, then clicking on the search icon on the following page. Next, Click on the drop down menu below Sorts Results By and select Gravity to position best selling offers on top. This is how you can identify the most profitable niches on this site, but be aware that you'll get similar results in other marketplaces. To identify the niche of an offer by name, look at the Cat or Category section in the Offers card. Notice how some of the top selling niches are health and fitness, self help, e business online marketing and cooking. There you have it, some of the niches you can pick from. Searching on JVZoo Market JVZoo is an affiliate platform that is similar to ClickBank. To find what niches are hot and trending there, simply visit jvzoomarket.com to go to the website's marketplace. Now scroll down to the Today's Top Sellers section. There you'll see the type of products that are currently making the most money. And to find top selling niches, check under top categories. Step number two, researching related search terms. Now that you have picked your niche, it is time that you find the search terms related to that niche. Search terms are long tail keywords that potential customers use to find content in your niche. And also when they are researching products before making a purchase decision. It is important that you collect these search terms before you start your YouTube business because you can use them to optimize your videos for maximum reach. On Google, let's start this research on Google. This is the search engine we'll use because a large majority of potential customers will use it. What you'll do is type your niche keyword into the search bar and wait for the autocomplete suggestions. These are the most popular search terms that your audience is using on Google. And the good news is that by using these terms you can rank your videos on top of the search results pages. We'll be teaching you how to do that in an upcoming lesson. So let's continue with what we have at hand. On YouTube. Alright, let's take the search to YouTube. Although you'll be targeting the same audiences on both platforms, it could happen that you'll find different segments of the same audience using different search terms on YouTube. So simply go to YouTube and type your niche keyword in the search bar. Then wait for the autocomplete suggestions. And there you have the results. As you can see, although the results are very similar, they can include more specific keywords that give you ideas about what type of videos you can create to funnel those searches. Wrapping up. 
you can finalize by saving the search terms you found by adding them to an Excel spreadsheet. This will help you to have them handy every time that you create content for your channel.